testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with quick hits. Um, before we get into this, guys, please <clears throat> like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits comes at you twice a day, every day. Uh, two episodes a day. Keep you up to- Ooh, on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, so. Also, uh, on the channel, uh, there's a brand new interview with uh, Christy Martin. I went on an interview with Christy Martin. Please check that out. Uh, it's really, really good. Um, all right. Let's get into um, the, the Ugas fight. Um, really, really good fight. Um, the Ugas Pacquiao fight. Um, that was highly impressive stuff by your Dennis Ugas. Um, he, he fought in the mid range the entire fight, he counted him, he counted Pacquiao. Every time Pacquiao tried to open up, every time Pacquiao tried to, uh, you know, un- unleash those combinations, um, Ugas stood there, counted him, clocked him with the right hand. Um, he went down to his body. I think he could have went down to his body a little more, but that, that was it. Was it, it was a really, really picture perfect performance for Ugas in many ways. Um, you know, Pacquiao looked aged. Let's be honest. Let's be fair. You know, Pacquiao's forty two. Uh, by the time I, I think it's caught up to him, although you know it's, you can see like the fours and five punch combinations they weren't there anymore. Um, the footwork, it's still there. It's like his his legs and body can't do what his brain tells him to do. He can't do exactly what he used to do. Um, he's not as good as the guy that fought Keith Thurman, but um, that 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 was a really really good performance by Ugas. He he really stabilized him. I I, I tweeted out that he's like the teacher's edition, right? Like in school, the teacher's edition um, had all the answers. Uh, he had all the answers. Whatever Pacquiao did, Ugas was right there, uh, right there to counter him. I, um, right there to you know, um, the right hand um, was just perfect. Uh, he was going down to the body really well. Um, you know, it's a shame. And unfortunate that Earl Spence, um, you know, had the eye injury, had to pull out of the fight. That's unfortunate. You know, it's it, 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 it's it's a mis- it's a misfortune. It's just, but you know, he could have really, really uh, beat Pacquiao up bad. It could have been bad if Spence was in there. So it's probably a blessing. And 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 you know, Ugas has been so overlooked and so avoided for so long. Um, I, I thought he got the short end of a stick on a fight that he won with Porter. It was good to see him get this opportunity. Um, he, he 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 he's earned this. Like he he's done this the old fashioned way. He you know the, the Uga story um, is really you know he was was he fifteen and three retired for two and a half years or went away from the sport for two and a half years came back and just started being prospects one after another. Um, you know, this was this was impressive. You know, the story is cool. I, I want to know who's going to play your Dennis Ugas uh, in the your Dennis Ugas uh, movie um, because his story is made for Hollywood. Um, you know, and now he dethrones a legend. Um, and it couldn't it won Thurman, won Spence. It's Ugas that does it. It's Ugas that retires Pacquiao. Um, you know, Pacquiao has had a incredible create division world champion, you know, flyweight world champion. I went all the way up to 47. I, I, I guess he won a title up 54. I, I don't really see that. Um, but I mean, it's an incredible story. Um, so where does Ugas go from here? I'm, I'm thinking it's Spence. If Spence fights again, uh, I think Spence will fight again. I, I think that's the fight we get next. Um, but I would like to see Ugas, you know, rematch Porter, especially if Porter beats Crawford. Um, but uh, Ugas now has a ton of options because that was a picture perfect masterpiece of a performance. Um, I mean, there's nothing to dislike about what Ugas did in the ring. Uh, and again, it, it couldn't have happened to a better guy with a better story. Um, I'm glad I, I was rooting for Ugas all the time. 
I feel, uh, uh, you know, a little bit of redemption. Uh, you know, I've been saying for a while, I, I think Ugas belongs in there with the rest of the welterweights. He's got so many good wins. Omar Figueroa, Abel Ramos, Jamal James, Ray Robinson, Thomas Lum. I mean, he went through those 10, you know, 10 to 15 type guys, just ripped through them one after another. Um, he's now 4 0 on short notice fights where he takes them on short notice. Note to the boxing world um, if your opponent drops out, don't let him replace your opponent with Lucas because you're going to lose. Um, I mean, he's so good. At, I mean, um, his best friend, or one of his best friends from Cuba, is Uralis Chapman, who is a. Great relief pitcher. Uh, I mean, Ugas is a relief pitcher. He comes in here, <laughs> takes fights on short notice, comes in le- last minute, and, and then, you know, uh, lays people out and, and beat people up. And, and that's what he did today. I mean, um, I, and I want to get into that. So the scorecards, <laughs> um, I had it 10 rounds to two. Um, I, I, I didn't think it was particularly close. Although, you know, I, I could see swinging a few more rounds. To, to Pacquiao, but I, I gave the Pacquiao the first and the fifth, and that's it. Um, I thought Ugas pretty much dominated the fight, especially the second half of the fight. I thought that, you know, um, Ugas, you know, although Pacquiao was fighting and making it competitive, I, I, I thought Ugas clearly won the rounds. Um, the 115 113 scorecards, I, I, I think, are a lot, uh, which is what Larry Hazard had, uh, and it's what one of the judges had. Uh, and I was all tweeting about, I think these judges are terrible. I think we need to get new blood in there, younger judges. Um, you know, um, you know, they're all 60, 70 years old. Like, let, let's get younger people in there. You know, let's get some young blood in there to score these fights. Uh, and then my, my favorite, <laughs> you guys can go. You guys can go look this up on Dan Rayfield's Twitter. Dan Rayfield. Worst scorer alive. Seriously, Dan Rayfield is, I mean, he's got so many bad scorecards, but this one is great. He had a 115, 113 for um, Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> Two rounds. Maybe you can give him four at most. He somehow gave him seven. So there's three other rounds, including the 11th that he scored for Pacquiao. I mean, uh, Dan Rayfield knows so little about actual boxing right like, when he breaks the story okay fine but what is it? Like, here's something about boxing it's like he just got into the sport and, and he's a reporter and he can get some news um but he doesn't <laughs> like every fight he's watched is his first one he's going up like the pack you know? <laughs> everyone like on his turn, it's like uh, does someone want to tell dan that ugas is running away with this fight and the scorecards were way too close you know um you know, you can see that they wanted to give the fight to Pacquiao. They, they, they wanted to get Pacquiao rounds based on his value. We, Ugas just dominated the fight. Ugas, you know, did everything he needed to do. Um, so I, I think next we get Ugas Spence. I think we, we, we'll get that fight. You know, this is August. I, I'd say end of the first end of first quarter of 2022, we, we get Ugas and Spence. And Spence is going to be a live dog in that fight too. Spence um, and Ugas is going to be a live dog in that fight. Ugas is going to be a live dog regardless of who he fights moving moving forward. Uh, masterpiece performance for you guys, Ugas. Um, good job, U- Ugas. Thank you uh, for your service, Manny Pacquiao. It was a heck of a ride uh, watching Pacquiao. Twenty six years as a pro, you know, I, <laughs> he won his first world title in nineteen ninety nine. I mean, it's incredible the, the, the ride that he's had. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, let me know what your scorecards. I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone had it pretty wide, at least 8 4 to Ugas. I think anywhere 8 4, 10 2 is, is really the right scorecards here. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, uh, also, our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Please subscribe to that. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, so it's near and dear to our heart. Um, that's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, also, check out the interview with Christy Martin exclusively on this channel. I'm the only one that has that. So, when I want to interview with Christy Martin, check that out. Uh, it is August 21st. Well, it's actually the 22nd now, 2021. I'm in Caldor. I'm still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. 
hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.